Today we're gonna be making art with the contents of the August Art Snacks Plus box. Let's open it up and find out what's inside. Inside this bag, these are eight paint tips. They look like this. They remind me of when you decorate a cake or little like chess pieces. All eight of them are a completely different shape. We've got flat, wider flat, detailed flat, noodle, bigger noodle, fine point noodle, double noodle, and the king piece. If we actually look at the packaging, it looks like they all connect to some kind of bag of paint, it's like an apple juice bag of paint. Oh, there's another one. So we have one in the color primary blue and one in the color primary red of squishy, squishy paint. You disconnect this lid and attach one of these and you can like squirt them out. Here we have the literature. This menu lists all the art supplies in the regular art snacks box. And then this menu includes all of the items that are exclusive to the art snacks plus box. A dum dum pop. And the last thing in our bubble bag is this green tissue paper. Oh, they put the sticker in there. That was kind of dumb. It's all squashed. Oh, but it's really pretty. I wish they included pastel art supplies. I've not worked with an oval wash brush before. I'm used to seeing rounds and flats. And then finally there is, but it is water resistant, non-fading pigment ink in this 0.3 fine liner by Winsor & Newton. And then final thing in the box is this mixed media paint board. It's made out of vegetables and recycled components. All right, so it feels a lot like a stretched canvas, but it's obviously stiffer. I wonder if it's just canvas wrapped around wood. I'm a genius. I don't know. So it's a three quarter inch, eight inch by 10 inch mixed media paint board. Oh, phew. I'm so glad. It has the Frederick's seal of quality. Now we know it's good. <laughs> Who the heck is Frederick's? Oh, it's the brand. Okay. Two, three, four, eight. Candy paint. So this is everything included in this month's Art Snacks Plus box. The items that are exclusive to the Art Snacks Plus are this eight set of paint tips and the Frederick's Mixed Media Paint Board. I do want to thank Art Snacks for sponsoring today's video. If you're interested in getting your own Art Snacks box, um, I have a 10% discount code that you can use for your very first box on either the Art Snacks or the Art Snacks Plus box. If neither of those are in your budget right now, I will be forwarding this exact box to one of you. So if you're interested in entering that giveaway. I will have a link in the description. Thanks again to our snacks for sponsoring the video. We have the two colors. We have the blue and the red, and then we can obviously mix them and get purple. Uh, so let's just try that out. So that I can use for like the paintbrush if I need. Next, let's try our little fine point. Actually, I don't want to go too detailed. Let's grab this. I'm using my noodle nib. Let's see what that does. I'm kind of try to figure out how to hold it so that I can get like an even Okay, a little wobbly. I kind of wish there was a way to put the lid on with the nib. Just watch out the red paint. Flat tip. Interesting. I kind of wish there was a white so that I could get more pastel colors because you see how dark these are. I did notice that one of these had a prompt word on them. Have you ever made a collage using magazines or newspaper cutouts? Find a few of your favorite clippings, glue them onto your mixed media board, and add texture with the acrylic paint tips. Do a little bit of a collage, which I've never done before, so it'd be kind of fun if we could include maybe some people on here. Because right now I'm very nervous about trying to get details with this very wide oval brush and obviously the squeezy tip things, the frosting, you know? I actually just got in the mail recently. So maybe we can like cut some stuff out. I was kind of hoping there'd be more people in here. We got a Bob Bush bomb, but that's way too small. That's a little bust. Maybe we'll have some like models we can use. Oh, I'm finding some people. <laughs> I'm gonna hold these, put these off to the side. Like where's one of those like full page, like just in your face faces, you know? I feel like whenever I'm in a waiting room and I like open it up, it's always just someone gorgeous staring at me and I feel very intimidated, but not today, apparently. I'm gonna leave a little bit of a white border because we can paint over it so we don't cut off anything we might want. <gasps> ooh, ooh, and we can also include this title. Oh yeah, pops of purple. <laughs> hey, it's a brush cleaner stuff. I really like that. Gotcha. Markers. <laughs> Now we have a nice mess. Perfect. So I think 
step one would be to kind of glue things on. I don't actually, do I have glue? I have these two washi tapes. I have an Elmer's glue stick. I'm kind of thinking about centering it around her with then like elements kind of encircling her. And then I kind of want to just use this little noodle nib here and create like shapes going around her and like a circular motion that like draws your attention towards her, even though there's gonna be so many more crazy things going on. Oh, we also have this, but the problem with this is it doesn't really fit. So if I like paste this up in this corner and this one down like this, then we have those art supplies kind of pointing towards the center of the collage. And then let's glue these edges. I think I'm gonna go around with paint and create like a cool border around the outside. So it'll definitely hide all of these like words that I don't want. Just stick that on right where we want it. Oh shoot. I should have cut this guy out. Wait, wait, maybe it's not too late. Fine liners and move them over to an edge. Hey. Okay, so now we don't have any random edges. I changed my mind. I wanna move these. So what I want to do is go over this with, well, let's do purple because it is so dark. We got some blue in there, some red together. Even if we like keep it kind of like separated, that might be fun. I really want to add white to this though. Well, we'll see what happens. Let's try and just hide the edges of the collage and remove some of that gray background. Don't have to get too close because I can always come in with like a thinner brush and fix some mistakes. So maybe we'll focus more blue on this corner, red on this corner. And I want to create like a gradient between those two. Oh, a nice white or pink Posca pen is going to look so good for adding like pops. It's maybe around some of these art supplies and things like that. I'm not worrying about the sides of them yet because I think I'm going to go around with like one flat color for that. This is kind of turning into a collage of all the things I like. Purple, pretty nails, art supplies, maybe like here? Whatever these things are. Just laying some things out. Trying to visualize it a little bit better. See where I want everything before I start gluing. That feels kind of right. But then I need something to cover this white space. And this is covering up our little nail polish, but it's for the greater good. Oh wait, I didn't cut it out. Oh, oh, oh no, now I'm going to have like glue all over my scissors. Get off me. All right, that'll have to do. My fingers are too sticky. I think I wanted it like right here. I really like the way these glitter. I'm gonna grab like some triangles. Just kind of stick them here and there. Next I want to take red. Let's try the one that looks like royalty. It's got like three little prongies. Let's hope this doesn't look like blood. And I'm gonna add like some fun squiggles. Okay, that actually looks really, really cool. I don't understand the shape of the bags. Like how are you supposed to hold them and like squeeze them? All right, now I'm gonna switch over to the blue one. Just the fine point. Kind of want to start adding some like interesting dots. <laughs> Follow the hair. Okay, the red definitely stands out more than the blue. Just add some blobs for texture. I take this white gel pen. Should have done this earlier. And try to paint like stars in the background so it looks more like a galaxy. Ooh, pretty. I'm gonna have some go right behind her too. Now when this all dries, I really wanna take like some Posca pens and add outlines to things, like fun pops of color there. Just kind of load it up with so many distracting things. It's kind of the plan. Some more triangles, I really like the triangles. I'm like trying to like calculate where to put everything and put it someplace where I feel like it makes sense. But at the same time, I'm kind of just making a mess. I wonder if I could like draw a new eyeball on her forehead or something really weird. <laughs> something I used to do when I was younger, actually I kind of still do it, 
is just take a pen and trace people in magazines and things like that. And I think it really helps give you that hand-eye coordination and kind of figure out what different things look like that you've never drawn before and like trace the wrinkles and figure out how wrinkles work. 10 out of 10 would recommend. So after letting it dry and I also, I also did the first layer coat of my border. I can't believe how much I like that. Like how much more finished it looks. Grabbed a couple Posca pens. I got white, red, and blue, just like the colors that are already in your picture. And I just feel like pink would look really, really nice. So I grabbed this guy too. And also I'm going to be using that Winsor Newton pen. I thought it'd be fun to just draw on top of, um, what was her name? Morgan. <laughs> and not really distort her as much as make it look like it's an illustration. So I want to make sure I still capture the look but then like make it look like it was kind of drawn in my style. So maybe elongate the eyeliner there. Add that big, deep pop eyeline and just a little bit down here. Kind of just draw on top of it as if I was doing the line art. Like eyebrows. Kind of just add those little flares that I always add to all of my art kind of thing. So I'm gonna use the red and the blue Poscas to add more shapes here and there, fill in the area. This is kind of fun because making a mess is inevitable, so you can't really fight it. She's wearing, what is this? One looks like it might be leopard. I don't know, it's like a weird mix of animal prints. What if we include some of those in the background? That kind of look like an I don't really know. There's like, oops, there's two colors in it. It's kind of difficult with one marker. <laughs> Let's try to replicate the ones on her jacket there for down here. A little easier because they're just small little spots. Paint her lips this pink color too. Oh, I said messy was inevitable. This isn't the most visually pleasing thing I've ever created. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Um, part of me wants to just paint over top reuse this paint board basically and just draw something. Just need to draw something real quick. As fun as it was to make like an absolute mess and not worry about anything for a little while. Now that I've done that, it feels like it's kind of like cleared my mind of like worrying about making bad art. It took away like my favorite part of art, which is sketching. And by taking a break from that in a way, it's really just made me want to draw something. <laughs> and I'm very inspired by, I think it was Morgan's outfit here. So I'm just gonna quickly sketch something just to kind of prove that I can. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe throw in some paint here and then red up at the top. Anyway, I do want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me unbox the Art Snacks Plus box for the month of August and make this fun uh, collage. <laughs> I had a lot of fun with it, even if the results aren't anything that I would hang up on my wall. It was kind of fun playing with these paints. I'm not sure how you're supposed to use them in like any other sort of sense. They do say abstract on them, which makes me think this is kind of the stuff you're supposed to make with them. Just like making a mess, going for the best, seeing what happens and just enjoying the process. If you're interested in getting your own art snacks box, I will have a link in the description. My favorite thing about art subscription boxes is that they kind of push you down a path you wouldn't choose necessarily for yourself. And making a collage is definitely one of those paths that I have never ventured down. Uh, if you're interested in getting your own art snacks box, I will have a link in the description as always. And don't forget, I'm also giving away these art supplies that I used today from this month's box. So check the link in the description for that giveaway. Again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys all next week and I hope you have a delicious evening full of waffles. Bye.